Lisa Chalemi from The Complete Herbal Guide. And today I'd like to talk to you about a book that I just finished reading and I truly loved it. It was very inspirational and motivational. It really opened my eyes and made me see a lot of things in life differently. And I, it captured my interest from beginning to end. I really enjoyed reading this book. It was called, Is This Seat Taken? No, I Saved It For You. Inspiring Life Lessons From Everyday Experiences by Kristen Kaufman. I highlighted some areas of the book that I just briefly wanted to share because I thought they were really meaningful. And I really enjoyed um, reading this book and reading the things that Kristen had to share. She mentioned a lot of um, famous people and some of the quotes that they had shared that related to the stories. She shared a bunch of different personal stories from her life, certain things in her life that had had huge impacts on her life. And she made you look at life differently. And she made you remember, sometimes you forget things in life. You forget how certain things are the most important because you get so caught up in today's daily life, everybody on the go, on the run, that we forget the little things in life actually can mean the most to us. In her book, she shared a lot of different things. And I thought some of the things that she pointed out were great. Like she mentioned that everybody has a story. In life, a lot of people you know, will share things and they'll talk about life lessons and how it impacted them as a person. And so many people will learn from their stories. And, and listening to other people's stories actually makes you feel great because sometimes when you're going through things in life and you listen to others and you realize that you're not the only one in life, you're not alone, that there are other people that go through similar things or they might be going through something that they actually had learned certain things that helped them through it and they can share that with you and we can learn from each other and everybody has things to share and everybody can help others and kind of made me think for a second that we all really you know have a story that's meaningful and that could help others we all have something special because we are special as a person and that's what Kristen made me think of when I started reading her book by some of the less life lessons that she was sharing in her book. She also talked about how we don't get to really choose much in life, that kind of life has its own destiny for us, and that sometimes the most difficult things in life and the things that are most toxic and, mo and the, the most hardest for us to um, overcome are the things that actually can change our life for the better and make us look life at life differently and open our eyes to new things. And that's so true because some of the most difficult obstacles in life that I had to face head on head actually made me look at life differently. And from the, that moment on, I started to look at life in a more positive aspect because the life lessons we learn in life can actually, you don't have to think in life and say, oh, why did this happen to me? Why me? Sometimes I believe these things happen for a reason and they happen sometimes to make us a better person and to give us the qualities and the characteristics that we may not have had before or to view life differently and using those positive things, we can actually help others as well. And Kristen shares similar uh, life lessons um, that, that were difficult in life and she shares about how they impacted her and how they made her a better person and how she used some of the things in life that occurred in her life and how she actually was able to use those life lessons to help others. And that she didn't wallow in the past, that she focused on the present and she focused on the future. And by focusing on the present and the future, she was actually able to focus on how she can make herself a better person and help others in the, in the, in the, in the run. And I really liked that. She also talked about, about how kids, when they don't really remember what you try to teach them, they remember what you are. And I thought to myself, wow, that is so true. You know, because sometimes as parents, we're always so worried about teaching our kids all of the important life lessons they need to know when they get out in the big world. And we worry about so many different things. But as a parent, if you're a good parent and a good role model, your child is going to pick up all those characteristics and all the things you do and they will follow you, your life lessons in life 
because they, they see that it works for you. And sometimes, you know, parents will try to teach their kid the right thing and then they end up doing the opposite. But the kids pick up on that and they realize that, you know, what's right and what's wrong and they see what you do. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, all you have to do is be a perfect role model, a loving individual, a humble individual, a person who displays gratitude and your children will follow through after you because people usually pick up what they see in their environment. And I said to myself, how true is this? And she talks about this, not in life, not in a, um, you know, how to do type of thing. She talks about life lessons, uh, stories in her own life. And all those stories are so motivational and inspirational and so wonderful to, to read. But while you're reading them, you're picking up on all these little different things. And she talks about at the end of the book, she asks these questions on each chapter and the end of the chapters, and then she'll go over, you know, make you make you think about different things that relate to your own life, that um, those life lessons taught in each of those chapters. And I really thought that was great. I really love the way she just took all these life lessons, um, all these stories in her life, and how she actually was able to take these life lessons and make meaningful um, uh, uh, ways to teach others and to help others and to help people look at life differently and to feel better about themselves as a person. She also talked about gratitude and talked about how the, about focusing on the present moment, that the spiritual dimensions of life opens up when we focus on the present. And it's so true because when you focus on the path, past and you wallow in the past, You'll never be able to move ahead in life. But when you focus on the present and you focus on the future and set goals for yourself, so much could happen and such good could happen in life. And <coughs> she talks about that um, in one of her chapters. She also talks about having taken the delight in simple things. Sometimes we forget that the most meaningful things are the most simplest things in life. The things that, that we see every day that, um, you know, sometimes are the most important, but sometimes we don't realize that. And she talks about that through her stories and her life lessons. And she, I thought that was a great, um, a great thing that she brought up, that sometimes it's the simplest things in life that are the most important and actually can help us you know, some, some of the things she mentions in her stories. And she also talks about, if you want to feel rich, think of all the things that money cannot buy. And it's so true because sometimes people get caught up in the materialistic world that we lead in. But actually, it's the things that the materialistic um, things in life can't bring happiness. It's the, it's the other things in life that bring the most happiness. Love, friendship, caring, being there for each other, helping each other and coming out to, to do good, being gracious and thankful. All these things are, are simple things in life that actually can actually, that money can't buy. In life, it's, 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 it's love and friendship and certain things like that that bring the most happiness. And sometimes, you know, people, you know, focus on all the materialistic things like clothes and, and, and houses and cars but you could have all the things in, in the world, but if you're not happy as a person, it's useless. And she talks about how laugh as much as possible, always laugh and the sweetest thing one can do for oneself and, and one fellow human beings. And she makes you think for a second that truly laughter is one of the most, the best medicine in life. When you're going through hardships or when you're going through life in general, sometimes just taking a moment to, to be around your friends and family and to enjoy life and to laugh with one another and to, and to be thankful for each other, things like this can bring the most happiness. Even when you're going through the hardest of times in life, when someone is ill, you know, if you, I've noticed too that, you know, people have gone through really hardships in life and they focus on the positive. They focus on laughter and being happy and they talk about all the good things in life and they, they think about all the, the, the wonderful fun times in life and things like that could actually bring strength 
and bring hope into a person's life. And this is what Kristen talks about in her book as well, through her stories and her life lessons in each of these stories is just, is words can't even express how much um, these stories are so meaningful to and can mean so much and can actually open your eyes to so many different things and make you view life in so many different ways. And what I like also is towards the end of the book, she talks about um, different questions in life to ask yourself, the power of questions, to jumpstart your path towards a, a positive, healthy life. And she talks about different things you can do and different questions to ask yourself to make you start looking at your own life and different things you can do to make your life a better of life to lead. And she goes on in more detail and she talks about different tools and techniques and strategies to help you live a healthy, happy, and meaningful life. And you know, I can go on and on and talk about different stuff, but you really have to read the book to understand through her stories and her life lessons, how meaningful each of these stories were and how each story actually you could relate to your own life and think about actually how you could apply the, some of the things that she learned in her own life to your life and how it could actually improve the way you think. And she also talked about, you know, that it's, you're, you're never too old to make your life better and to, to, to reach your dreams in life. Sometimes people, when they get to a certain age, they give up or they think this is my life and this is the way it's going to be. And through her stories, she makes you think that life does not end, that there is always time for change and transition. And she talks about that in her stories and in, in her book. And this is definitely a book that I highly suggest for anybody who really wants to feel motivate, motivated and inspiration have inspiration about life and really just wants to, or if you just want to just sit back and just read a bunch of warm, loving and inspirational stories, just, you know, on a cozy night, this is the book to do it. So not only are you reading wonderful stories, but you're actually learning life lessons and actually you can better yourself as a person during these, during these stories that you read in this book. I highly suggest this book and I really enjoyed. And if you have any questions or if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box. And thank you so much.